Marginal and average tax rates for federal income taxes. What are they? How are they calculated? For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. First, we'll take a look at the average tax rate. Now, the average tax rate is more complex than you would think it would be, and that's because we have that progressive tax system, and that means that we're being taxed at multiple different rates. So we can't just say, hey, this is the tax rate that we have because we're being taxed at many different rates. So then the question is, well, how do I think about that in terms of tax planning, and how do I think about that in terms of comparing what I pay compared to like what other people pay? And of course, one of the comparisons we would have would be the average tax rate. So how much do we pay on average? Uh, in terms of taxes. Well, to calculate that is like you would calculate an average would be to take the total tax that we have, how much we're actually paying in terms of taxes and dividing it by the taxable income. And that'll give us the average tax rate. Note that we're talking here about taxable income. And that means taxable income after deductions and above the line and below the line deductions. So Again, this number is still very distorted in terms of how much we actually earn in terms of gross revenue as compared to the taxable income, much different numbers. But once we have that taxable income, we could just take total taxes divided by the taxable income to get the average. So for example, if we had 20,000 that we paid in taxes, these are just arbitrary numbers here, and we divide that by the 100,000 taxable income, then we would have an average tax rate of 20%. Now, that 20% is an average, which means that we are paying some tax rates below that in a progressive tax system. If that were the case, we would be paying some, some of our income, some of this uh, 100000 at a low tax rate, lower than 20%, and some of this 100000 at a higher tax rate, higher than 20%. So the reality is much more complicated, and that's what an average does, of course, is simplify the world into on average so this is it on average it also it's still a problem though because the average can give us some good comparisons like how, how much do we pay compared to someone else paying average is great for that but average doesn't help as much with the tax planning or many tax planning areas if we're thinking about an increase in income because the next dollar we make is not going to be taxed at 20 percent it's going to be taxed at whatever the highest bracket is so now we also need, when we're using a progressive tax system, not only to know the average, but we also need to know the marginal tax rate. And that's just going to be the tax rate on the last dollar we earn. So what's the end tax rate we have? What's the highest tax rate that we pay? So if on average we paid something like 20%, we'd be in here somewhere, but the highest tax rate is going to be somewhere lower on the table because some of our money was paid in between this bracket, some between this bracket, some between this bracket, depending on if we're married, head of household, or filing single, uh, the brackets, of course, would be different according to those, and we'll take a look at that later. But the rule in terms of marginal tax will be the same in that the marginal tax will be the latest tax that we pay. So if we're thinking about, well, should we do more work at this point? I make, you know, if we make something like 77.4 and we're trying to say, hmm, should I increase production and start making more money than that? Well, I mean, if it's possible, if I start working differently, could I make more money than that? Well, the next dollar you make is going to be at 22%. It doesn't mean that the whole thing that you're making will be at 22%. It means that anything that you make over and above the 77400 is going to be now taxed at a marginal highest rate of 22%. So when you make the decision, is it worth it? I mean, is the tax disincentive of going from 12 to 22 worth the increase in production to make that extra money then that's still a decision you have to make the taxes a is a disincentive to work oftentimes once you get to a certain level but it's not as big a disincentive as many people think because many people have the idea that once you get up to a higher tax bracket the the whole sum of money you're earning is now going to be taxed at the higher bracket no only only the amount that you're going to make at the marginal rate at the highest tax bracket will be at that highest rate for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.